Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create and set up Spring Boot project and we'll see how to integrate Timelip in a Spring Boot project. So let's create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and then we'll import that project in IntelliJ IDEA and then we'll see how to integrate Timelip in a Spring Boot project. So let's go to browser in a new tab, just type start.spring.io. This will bring up Spring Initializer. Well, Spring Initializer is a web tool that we can use to quickly create and boost up Spring based applications. Now let's go ahead and let's fill up the Spring Boot project information over here. Well, we are going to use Maven, so let's keep Maven project as selected over here. And here we have three kinds of JVM languages, Java, Kotlin, Groovy. Let's keep Java as selected. And Spring Boot version, so we are going to use Spring Boot 3. So let's select Spring Boot 3.2.0. This is by basically milestone 4. Next, let's fill up the project metadata over here. Well, here I am going to give group as net.javaguides. You can give any group that you want. Next, let's view artifact as timelib tutorial, something like that. And then project name is same as artifact. Next, let's view description as demo project for Spring Boot and timelib. Next, package name, let's keep net.javaguides.timelib. Next, let's keep packaging as a jar and let's keep Java version 17. Well, whenever we choose Spring Boot 3, we have to use Java version 17 or later, right? So let's keep Java 17 as selected over here. Next, let's go ahead and let's add dependencies to our Spring Boot project. For that, go ahead and click on add dependencies over here. And here just type Spring Web. Well, we are going to use Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency to develop the Spring MUC web applications. And this Spring Web Dependency internally provides Apache Tomcat as a default embedded container to deploy the Spring MUC application. So go ahead and choose Spring Web Dependency over here. Next, we are going to use Timelib. For that, let's go ahead and let's choose Timelib Dependency. We are going to learn more about Timelib Dependency a bit later. So go ahead and choose Timelib Dependency over here. Well, as of now, these two dependencies are enough. Next, if you want to explore this Spring Boot project, you can go ahead and click on Explore option over here. And you can explore the Spring Boot project structure. And you can explore the pom.xml content. All right. So go ahead and click on Close. And next, go ahead and click on Generate button to generate this Spring Boot project as a zip file. All right. And if you can see here, Spring Boot application is downloaded as a zip file. Next, you can open this zip file in a folder. And next, let's unzip this zip file. All right. Next, let's go ahead and let's import this Spring Boot project in an IntelliJ IDEA. So let's open IntelliJ IDEA. And here in IntelliJ IDEA, you have three options new project to open, get from VCS. Well, we are going to open the existing Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. For that, go ahead and click on open over here. And next, go to the location where your Spring Boot application is present. So in, in my case, it is in downloads folder. So let's select the Spring Boot project. Go ahead and click on open. Now our Spring Boot application is opened in IntelliJ IDEA. Next, select the project and go to file and then project structure and then project settings, project. And here we have SDK. So make sure that you configure JDK 17 as a SDK here because we are using Spring Boot 3. We have to, you know, configure SDK Java 17. In my case, I am configuring Open JDK 17, but you can also use Oracle JDK 17 as well. Next, once you configure the SDK, next click on OK. Okay, now we have successfully created and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Next, let's go and let's explore the integration of Timelib in a Spring Boot project. So go ahead and click on pom.xml file over here and here let's explore this very important dependency that is Spring Boot Starter Timelib dependency. Well, Spring Boot provides Spring Boot Starter Timelib dependency to work with Timelib in a Spring Boot project. And this Spring Boot Starter Timelib dependency internally provides all the required dependencies to integrate Timelib in a Spring Boot project. For example, for example, if we dive into this dependency, this dependency internally provides Timelib Spring 6 integration dependency. Okay, so in order to integrate Timelib with Spring, we have to use this dependency, right? But this Spring Boot provided Spring Boot Starter Timelib dependency internally provides Timelib Spring 6 integration dependency, and this dependency internally provides Timelib dependency as well. Okay. Well, in order to integrate Timelib in a Spring Boot project, we just have to add this single dependency and this Spring Boot Starter Timelib dependency internally add all the Timelib and Spring integration related dependencies. All right, this is awesome, right? If you want to use Timelib in a Spring Boot project, we just have to add single dependency and Spring Boot will take care of adding all the Timelib and Timelib integration related dependencies. All right, great. 
Well, let me recap what we have done in this lecture. We have created and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA and we have seen how to integrate Thymlib in a Spring Boot project. So basically we need to add only this single dependency to integrate Thymlib in a Spring Boot project. In next lecture, we'll see Spring Boot auto configuration for Thymlib. Well, whenever we add this Spring Boot starter Thymlib dependency in a Spring Boot project, Spring Boot will automatically configure a lot of stuff for Thymlib. Okay, in next lecture, we'll see how Spring Boot will auto configure Thymlib in a Spring Boot project. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.